Hello everyone and welcome. Today I want to be showing you how to exchange cryptocurrencies using Coinbase Pro. Now there could be a variety of reasons that you might want to exchange one crypto for another. Perhaps you're holding Bitcoin but you need Ethereum to pay some kind of a gas fee. Or perhaps you currently hold basic attention token but you want to lend DAI stablecoin on some kind of a decentralized exchange. There's a wide variety of reasons why you want to do this conversion but today I want to show you an easy way to make a low cost conversion. Now, Coinbase is one of the most widely used exchanges so today's tutorial is going to be focused on using Coinbase and its companion site Coinbase Pro. So let's start right off with Coinbase. If you have a Coinbase account, you can buy, trade, and convert cryptocurrency. So we can go to convert, and we can simply select Bitcoin to Ethereum or whatever we want to convert. Now, this is a workable option. However, you should keep in mind that there are fees associated with this. Coinbase Pro, sorry, regular Coinbase charges a 2% conversion fee. Now. 2% conversion fee can be quite a lot. So if you have $100, they're taking $2 of that. If you have $1,000, they're taking $20 of that. It adds up over time. Now, the good news is that if you have a Coinbase account, you also have a Coinbase Pro account. And with Coinbase Pro, you can do these exchanges for a lot less, typically around a half of a percent. So four times lower than the fee. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do that, how to make your trade, how to deposit to Coinbase Pro, and how to withdraw. Now we are in the Coinbase Pro website where we are actually going to carry out our transaction. Now, let's take a closer look at the website because I know it can be a little bit intimidating at first. This price chart is simply a candlestick chart of the previous prices. We don't need to worry about that too much. On the left hand side, these are all the orders that are going on and these trade history is the history of trades that have actually been executed. All that we really need to concern ourselves with is this little area on the left hand side. And we see that there's different ways that we can trade cryptocurrencies. So on an exchange you can trade one crypto for another, but certain cryptos only trade with each other. It's called a trading pair. And what I mean by that is let's suppose that I have basic attention token. The only two cryptos that I can tr trade for basic attention token are Ethereum or USDC coin. I can't go directly from basic attention token to Bitcoin, for example. I would first have to go to Ethereum and then trade Ethereum for Bitcoin. Now, if you remember from our discussion on the whiteboard, I said that DAI has an interest rate of about 6.3% where USDC coin is about 4.2%. So let's suppose that I have some USDC coin in my Coinbase Pro account, what I want to do is I want to trade that for DAI. So I can go to DAI to USDC coin, and what I want to do is I want to buy a certain amount of DAI. Now, there's different ways that you can execute a trade on a crypto exchange. A market order simply means you're going to take whatever price the market is giving. So if I want to purchase one DAI, I'm going to pay however much USDC coin the market tells me I have to pay to get that amount. So maybe it's 1.01 USDC coin, maybe it's 0.995 USDC coin. I'm taking whatever price the market gives me. Now, this is temporary disabled for this market, so we have the option of a limit order and a stop order. Now, what a limit order does is it allows us to say, okay, we want to buy one DAI or 20 Bitcoin, but it, we put in the limit price that we are willing to accept. So in other words, the absolute maximum that I'm willing to pay for one die is 1.008 USDC coins. This is important because it gives us a little bit more assurance. If we take the market order, maybe the price goes up, maybe the price goes down, but with a limit order, we know exactly the maximum that we're going to be willing to pay for this USDC coin. We might get it for a little bit less, but we're never going to have it for more. So what Coinbase Pro does is it charges a little bit of a fee, and you can see here that the fee is about 0.5%. So remember the example we did on the whiteboard. That 0.5% fee isn't going to make a huge difference in the long run, but it's going to enable us to earn that higher interest rate. So 
What we want to do when we're coming up with the limit price, we don't just make this up out of thin air. What we need to do is look at the history of the market. So we see on the trade history that it currently appears that USDC, it's taking about 1.007 USDC coin to buy one die. So what I want to do is I want to set my limit order slightly below this market order. So I'm going to go to 1.0 zero let's change this out here seven nine usdc coin and this is going to set my limit order now what i want to do is i want to place my buy order this transaction is going to be placed in and if the price dips down below this level it's going to execute the trade for us now let's suppose that after waiting for our order to fill we realize that we don't really want this order anymore or that something something has changed and we need to cancel this order. We can simply cancel open orders or we can go by and cancel them one through one. Now, you might wanna do this for a variety of reasons. Maybe you, you came up with a different idea for investing. Maybe you saw that the price has been changing really rapidly. Maybe you just want to get out of the market for a while and you don't want this trade to execute. So you can simply cancel your open orders here if you want to. We're still waiting for this DAI USDC coin to go through and that's another reason you might want to cancel an order perhaps we sent our limit price too low oops there it goes it just transferred through and we see that we have received our one die in exchange for this 1.0079 so if we go back up into our wallets we will now see that we have one die and our USDC balance has decreased now that's how to trade if you already have cryptocurrency in your existing Coinbase account. What I'm going to do next is move on and show you how to trade from something that's in your wallet, such as your MetaMask. All right, now let's suppose that we have cryptocurrency in a wallet, such as a MetaMask or a hardware wallet. It doesn't really matter, but let's suppose that I'm holding something with a very low interest rate, such as basic attention token. Now, if I wanted to, I could lend basic attention token at a 0.13% interest rate and hope that the price of the asset goes up. So right now, BAT's about 20-something cents. Maybe I'm hoping BAT's going to go to 50 cents. In that case, I would want to hold on to my BAT and simply sell it when the price goes higher. But let's suppose that I think the price of BAT isn't really going to go up that much. What I might want to do is convert it to a stable coin that has a higher interest rate. So I have 70 BAT. Let's suppose that I wanted to convert it to USDC coin or DAI. What I could do is I could come to Coinbase Pro and I would click deposit. Now it's going to ask us for the cryptocurrency and we want to deposit basic attention token. Now this is the address that we are sending the crypto to. So we would come over to MetaMask and we would log into the basic attention token screen and we would send to this address right here. And what this would do, this would send our basic attention token to the Coinbase Pro account. Now, once it's in the Coinbase Pro account, we would go through the exact same steps that we did with using the cryptocurrency that is already in the account. Now, one last thing that I want to show you is how to withdraw. So let's suppose that we converted our USDC coin to DAI or we converted our basic attention token to DAI. And now we want to withdraw this DAI to our MetaMask so that we can lend it out. We would go to Wallets. We would find the asset that we want to withdraw and then we would withdraw it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our MetaMask public key and we're going to put this here in our, our destination address. We're going to send the one die that we own and let's go ahead and click withdraw one die. It's going to ask for the two-step verification code, so let me just get out Google Authenticator really quick here. It is going to be, and we're going to click withdraw funds, and it is going to send this to our account. We're just going to wait a little bit, and then it will appear. So we can go to MetaMask and we can simply wait to receive this. Okay, it took just a little bit, a few minutes, and now we see that our one USDC coin is in our wallet. So 
That's a brief overview of how to trade, exchange, deposit, withdraw cryptocurrencies using Coinbase Pro. All right, guys, there you go. That was the video. I hope this video helped you learn a little bit more how to exchange, withdraw, and deposit cryptocurrency using Coinbase Pro. As I said in the beginning, there's a lot of other ways that you can do this. This is simply a way that I have used. I hope you found it video useful, and I will see you in the next one.